Hey guys, I, I just wanted to come on here. I got some comments about my thoughts on, you know, Gordon Hayward not being an all-star. Doesn't sit right with me, man. It, 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 it hurts to talk about it because I, I think he deserved it. And I'm not saying he should get it over any other player in the East, but I've watched Hornets games and I see his impact and it just hurts. It hurts to know that we don't have an all-star on our team. And you know, the only two real players in the East that he could possibly get it over, like he's even in the conversation for, was Nikola Vucevic and Julius Randle. And I I don't, I know for a fact he doesn't have a strong case against Julius Randle. Uh, but Vucevic, it was, you know, 50 50. But I understand that Vucevic has a, has a big, has a, you know, bigger impact on uh, the Magic team than Gordon Hayward might on the Hornets team, even though. That's not my thoughts, but <laughs> it's it's just tough because I've been I've been rooting for for some for some Gordon Hayward love, and and I think an All Star selection would be that. I mean, he's averaging I think twenty two point nine points per game, three point seven assists per game, I think five rebounds, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, those are those are All Star numbers, and uh, if you look at his his uh, comparison between when he was an all-star in 2016 and 2017 with Utah, you know, his stats were very comparable to what they are um, today. So it's, it's just tough, man. Um, he's also not that entertaining of a, of a player. Like I'd much rather watch Julius Randle play um, than Gordon Hayward. If that makes sense, like Gordon Hayward's not going to dunk it over someone. Uh, he's kind of just like a, a white, um, I don't. I was. I was gonna say a white Kawhi Leonard, but Kawhi, uh, that is not a very good comparison. I was thinking about their mid-range games, but yeah, it it's understandable that Gordon Hayward does not make it, but it just doesn't sit well with me because I think this was his last real chance to make it. Um, you know, <laughs> Lamelo. Like next year, Lamelo has a better chance to make it over Gordon Hayward. I'd say Terry Rozier. I mean, the last ten games, I thought Terry Rozier had a had a chance to make the All Star team too. But it's just crazy because I see these Instagram accounts like Bleacher Report and House of Highlights. They post their All Snub teams, and Gordon Hayward wasn't on the All Snub team. They put, they had Fred Van Vliet, and I know I know Fred Van Vliet's a good player. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, he had that fifty point game, but other than that. Has anybody been has anybody been talking about Fred Van Vliet? Has have they? I, it it this doesn't sit well with me, and I understand the people that made it. I know he wasn't gonna make it over like Ben Simmons, even though I saw people on Twitter asking why Ben Simmons is in the game. Uh, he wasn't making it over Jalen Brown. Uh, who else made it? Harden. Uh, Tatum, like those, those are locks. I, I knew it was a long shot for Hay, uh, Hayward to go in and the coaches vote on these reserves, right? This is what confused me because I, I feel like the impact of Gordon Hayward is with the coaches. Like the coaches see Gordon Hayward as more than he is. And the players don't really like, like, that's just my take on Gordon Hayward. But anyways, guys, uh, you guys will get another upload in a few hours because the Hornets are I, th I believe they're playing right now, so you'll get a reaction with that. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later.